How's it going everyone? Thank you for tuning into another video. Uh, today we are going to be working mainly on the SI as you can see right here. It's like torn apart. Um, after yesterday's video, I started to uh, take it apart even more, fix it up, and then we actually went to AutoZone this morning so that I can get the battery charged. This is the Honda battery. I guess the previous owner never changed it and it's still okay so I had them charge it up because this car has been actually sitting in this spot on jack stands for about like two to three weeks now and I had everything connected still. One tip that you should not do is that if you're leaving your car on uh, jack stands and you're not driving it for a while, this happened in my EK as well, you should definitely put it on battery tender or just uh, unplug the negative terminal just so that there's no um, battery being used because then you'd have to go to AutoZone, oh sorry for my slippers, then you have to go to AutoZone to get that replaced and it's a bitch and a half to get the battery out of the battery relocation kit for the hybrid racing. Um, intake because it's all the way down there and then there's the uh, radiator hose that's there then you have to take off the whole intake that's <laughs> it's just so much work but today what we're gonna do is we're gonna put back the battery maybe give this car a quick little wash um, I did fix the rear bag so hopefully nothing uh, is wrong with that and I could just get the car all situated um, we're also gonna be cleaning out the intake because the intake is dirty I haven't cleaned it out ever since I got it and I put it on so it's been like a year now that I've had it. Alright, the first thing that I want to do before I even turn on the car so that it fills with bags is fix the rear bag. Uh, yesterday you saw me reroute this and re-thread it inside, but as you can see right here, the, the bag is still like loose because there's no air in it. So what I want to do is I want to thread it inside. So there's the uh, thread right there. Yeah, let's get let's get that screwed in first. Okay, so I wasn't able to thread it in, but I was able to leave it there. So just as long as it's like this, so that when it does fill up, it could expand, and then so it'll stay in the bottom part. Like it'll go into there and then it'll still be up there because what I didn't want to do is just have it dangling down and then not and then have it fill up and then have that bolt hit somewhere else other than the inside of the hole so yeah uh, we got our um, air tech shocks from Alex thank you so much bro uh, we got the line rerouted hopefully there's no more air leaks so that I could actually air out on the um, I could be fender to lip rather than having it so that I'm like scratching all of my wheel this is my favorite wheel and it's already nicked throughout the, all of the back but it's okay because later down the road I will want to repaint these wheels I don't know if I want to keep it white later because something's coming uh, the car is gonna have a color change but um, that's still in the air because I really like copper I don't know about you guys but I love copper wheels uh, copper plated uh, bronze is okay but if it's like copper though so much better than the bronze butt. As you guys can see, it's super dirty. It's not super dirty, it's just there's hella rocks, and I don't really like that. I don't want to have rocks all over my intake. Um, so we're just gonna dump it out. to slide it in than take it out bro you have no space in there so uh yeah we'll leave it off for now until we put back the intake and after that we can uh put everything back on all right we got everything put on it's so annoying to put this on because the battery's down there i'm probably going to relocate the battery in the trunk one day but yeah, so before you even put on this hybrid racing intake, put on the battery first, connect everything, and then put it on because it's impossible to get a wrench down there to tighten it up. But 
Yeah, let's turn on the car so that we could fill up the uh, bags with some air because we have to recalibrate it now since I do have new shocks and I want to set it up so that it uh, just airs out to the... Oh, I want to set it up so that it airs out just to the lip in the rear and I'm really praying that I don't have any more air leaks because I'm kind of tired of it. Here's the hoping that I don't have any air leaks as well, because I'm not trying to have air leaks right now. Okay, car's on. Let's just make sure that both compressors turn on. Let's see. Let's just turn on the car. Okay, nothing's turning on, not even my thing, so let me unplug and replug the horn. Because it might be the harness that's unplugged right now. I was I was trying to turn on the car. The car would not turn on. Sorry, someone's mowing the lawn over there. The car would not turn on. Or the compressor and the management wouldn't turn on. I was like, what's going on here? So I literally like took apart my whole panel trying to see if there are any wires exposed. I checked all the fuses to see if anything was like uh, blown. Nothing was there, and I was like, dude, what's going on? I checked the battery like three to four times, and then I don't know why, how I missed this, but as you can see right here, I'll put my phone right there. As you can see right here, um, this is the ground, and one of the grounds is actually off. So that's been my issue. This ground has been, um, it was off. As you can see right there, it's right here. It's supposed to be connected to, I don't know if you can see it. It's supposed to be connected to right here, but it was off. And dude, I was like getting pissed. I was literally about to go switch to uh to coilovers because I still have my BC Racing coilovers, and they're not for sale, by the way. For those of you who are asking, I know a lot of you say are asking, "Hey, uh, are you selling your coilovers, guys?" They're not for sale. If you do need a set of coilovers though from BC, I can get you a really good price. Just hit me up on my Instagram right here, and I can talk to you guys on pricing. I can't really put it out there in terms of the pricing, but if you guys DM me, I could. I'll let you guys know how much I can get it for you shipped. Please be serious in buying it. Yeah, let me know and I can get you hooked up on some BC Racing coilovers. Um, but yeah, let me fix the ground because I just want to turn on this car already. <laughs> yeah, uh, here's the exposed ground. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on another one of these and just crimp it because I don't know why, but I guess when we did it, nobody crimped it to anything. They literally just taped it onto that piece right there so hopefully with this we can connect everything together and have it functioning because I'm really getting tired of doing electrical shit for those of you who don't know I hate doing electrical shit <sighs> this is the moment of truth man <sighs> please I really really hope this works I just want the controller to turn on I want the management to turn on <laughs> I hate electrical stuff. Please. Oh, we live, baby. We live. Oh, and both compressors turn on. Woo! And there's an air leak. Okay, let's go fix that. Leaking from here. Uh, this leak. No leak here. No leak. No leaks. Okay, it's literally just this. Okay, I guess it's time to install the thing I wanted to install anyways, which is going to be the uh, tire inflator. So it's gonna be this, um, and this. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't want any more leaks. And at least I could still air out the tank with this. So yeah, let's just take this out and put this on. For those of you who don't know, I used to have this on the side when I had an air leak there, so I'm going to be using this little quick latch to connect to this and then have um, this connect to the tank and then to the bottom of this, so it'll all be perfect. So I'm going to take this off, cut it off, oops, so take this. This is perfect too because it can withhold up to 220 PSI and I never go past 150 so that's good as well. This too, you want to make sure that it ha its uh, PSI rating is below what you run for your management and through your tank. 
So I'm only gonna be running 150, so we're good on that one as well. Oh, pff, stupid, the other way. So connect this to right here. Then we're able to use this and connect it like that. So then we'll have tss, 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 tss. we can fill up uh, our tires whenever we need to. If we ever need some friends who need to fill up the tires, we can go tss, tss, tss. And look. Golden boys. So, so let this thing warm up, fill up with air, and then I'll fill up the rear with air manually just so that I can have air in the system so I can sit properly. Then after that we'll be good to go. I'll be able to um I need to fix this too. This is one of the things I need to fix because you need to tighten these bolts with Loctite or else it's gonna be having this play right here like this. Like you see that? Like it's yeah, so that's not good. So I'm gonna disconnect this so I can move it out of the way and then so we can have, we can Loctite this. All right guys, we got it all buttoned up. I don't know why it still makes this like little shaft play, but it's not as much as before. So we're good on that end. Um, yeah. It's thread locker in there. So I know it's not gonna come loose anytime soon. Put my SI shift knob on because this is actually really light. Because uh, I really like the shift knob. Shift knob feels nice. It's heavy. This one feels like nothing. Like this one is like heavy, dude. I'm like I don't want to shift with this. Ba, 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 ba. Yep. So I'm gonna take that off. Put this uh, OEM SI one on. Oh yeah. Damn. That looks good. All right. So now it's time to put back the wheel and finally bring this car out because. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna drive this car and I wanna fix the interior of this car and like all the little things I just wanna clean it up. Honestly, I wanna clean up the car because this car is super dirty and like I feel like everything's in it Has been like just it's just trash bro. Like look at all this stuff right there center console blah 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 Everything's all over the place <laughs> Connected to Bluetooth. Let's go to calibration. Recalibrate it. Uh, yes. Level surface. Straight. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Two compressors. Uh, auto. No. Okay. Continue. Let's go. so the SI is out and I hope you guys liked today's video um, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button make sure you give a thumbs up for the SI finally being out of the garage for three weeks make sure you guys build humbly and until next time I'll catch you guys on the next one peace